I'm Simon Perry. And I'm Rob Bartram. Cycling the Silk Road 2014. Born and raised in Lincolnshire and Suffolk respectively, these were all parts of England what we call home. It was where the outdoors became our friend and it was the place that helped us to develop our senses of adventure. From an early age, we both quickly became experts in the arts of climbing trees and jumping ditches. As even back then as children, we were looking for ways to push our bodies to the limit. Playing with Lego just wasn't exciting enough. As adults, this adventurous side is now embodied by our passion for travel. And between us, we are fortunate to have seen quite a bit of the world, which has helped to teach us a few more essential travel skills. Although we are still as susceptible as ever to getting sunburnt. These skills, and more importantly, this determination to try what others wouldn't, will hopefully come in useful in June 2014, as we embark on our expedition, which involves cycling from Jiang in China to Venice in Italy, more famously known as the Old Silk Road. Some people will ask, why are we doing this trip, which will involve five months of cycling across two continents and a total of 18 countries. Firstly, it is the sense of adventure and the unknown that has driven us to carry out such an expedition. We are going to a part of the world that contains some of the driest deserts, the highest mountains, as well as vast areas of unspoilt yet untamed wilderness that we feel make the perfect setting for an adventure trip. And as we are always told as a kid, if something is worth doing, do it properly. It is also a part of the world that many people in the West hold erroneous misconceptions and stereotypes towards. This is the other main aim that we have, to dispel these stereotypes. What do people think when they hear the word China? And if we ask the same question about Iran? Turkey? Kosovo? The old Silk Road marked the birth of a link between Asia and Europe, and we hope that by pushing our bodies and our bicycles harder than they have ever been pushed before along the length of it, we can help others learn a little bit more about the world they share as well as the people they share it with by following us throughout our journey. And hopefully, just as Marco Polo would have done when he set out on the same route more than 900 years ago, we will have a true adventure along the way. <laughs>